I really have no words for this. I'm be honest with you. I'm not a fan of Kevin Hart. I never was. Hold up. Like um, when, when he started to when he started to blow up, that's when he became less funny to me. The only time Kevin Hart was really funny to me is when he was on when he was on Comic View like 18 years ago, and he was holding up. He was standing up against a a mic that was taller than him. Okay, but the thing the thing hold up the thing about these uh, a lot of these celebrities like these rap especially these rappers and these comedians they're. When they, when they're the brokest, that's when they're the funniest. When 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 they have no money in their pocket, that's when they're the rawest. But it's, but when, when they when they become saturated and overwhelmed with cash and f- fortune and fame, that's when they start to water down their content. But like um re- recently, Kevin Hart uh, backed out from the uh, backed out from the from the from the uh, hosting the Oscars after the gay mafia uh fish uh, uh dug up one of his old tweets from ten years ago. And like uh, he after after he cracked under pressure, he ended up bowing out. Let's see, I would have never done that. I would have given the gay mafia the middle finger and went on about my business. Cause like shame and tactics don't work on me. And like um, I'm not one of those people who who's ne- who never worry about not working in another t- a town again because because I have I have un- I have ambition up the wazoo. So I don't I don't ha- I don't have to worry about um. Uh, about trying to impress people who, who I don't like or, who, or whose lifestyles I don't agree with. If you don't like it tough, well, what, what I find what I find sickening is that uh, uh, the the gay mafia or the LGBT XYZ will are quick to go after these black males, black celebrities, but they don't say anything about white celebrities. Cause like I know for a fact Nick Cannon, uh, who who uh, who I salute, Nick Cannon, he dug up uh, Amy Schumer and uh, Sarah Silverman and uh, Chelsea Handler's old tweets where they were spewing uh, anti-gay slurs. I don't say homophobic because homophobic is not a real word. Well, they they were spewing anti-gay slurs. But like, uh, of course, the media brushed that off like it was nothing. But like, unfortunately, Kevin Hart, Kevin Hart, but uh, bowed under pressure, and he let these people, uh, he let these people bitch him out, and uh, and and bow out from the uh, Oscars. They do this every single time when the event pops up like this. But uh, but like, I don't, but like, uh, what I what I also want to know is, what about <laughs> Tiffany Haddish? Where, where where is she at? How come she ain't? How come she ain't um, uh, uh, b- backing up her friend? Hmm. Cause like uh, if it wasn't for Kevin Hart, she probably wouldn't. She probably wouldn't have a leg to stand on in in Hollywood because he he helped her out with a few dollars to get on her feet uh, and not not be on the streets when she first moved to California. Where's she at now? Where, where's your friend at, Kevin Hart? Tell me where is she at now? But um, I, 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 that, that's all I really had to say about this subject. I, I don't watch the Oscars anyway. Even if he didn't bow out, I still wouldn't watch it because like um, a lot of these war shows are biased, and they're not even they're not even worth the airtime or the uh, w- oh, let me say that they're not even worth the airtime or the FaceTime or whatnot. Like I like my my mind is occupied doing other stuff, so it it doesn't it doesn't really bug me at all.